Okay, this is Matt. This is the first half of the January 2nd game, 2015. Looks like there are two tapes from the first half, one from the second. Uh, I want to thank Chris Mears, Calton's dad, for filming this. Big help. Uh, Dave Digdo for helping me out on the sidelines when I was on the field. And also Paul's parents who volunteered to video. I'm going to take you up on that this coming week. If you can do the video um, piece, I would appreciate it. So let's start and see what we have here. Okay, I uh, like it. We're all set up here. We've got our corners. We've got our two safeties back here, our linebackers. Um, these two you'll see throughout this position, throughout this game, are very, very important. Um, let's see what happens here. So it's going to be a handoff. I'm going to fake a pass. Reverse. Okay, let's um, let's learn a little bit here. A couple things here that I like with Luke. You'll, you're going to see when he fakes pass. I like the fact that he dropped back, but as soon as they started a run, he went in. I like the fact that Ty came in really quickly. See Luke coming back with a receiver, stayed in his zone. I see Ty going in, Luke coming up, chasing him back. Beckett, you've got to get in there very quickly. Um, let's see here. That's a really good attack by um, by Dane. Dane, I want, I want to show you something, though, right? When you came in, remember this has happened before, you're attacking on the, the inside edge. And what happens, because you missed the flagpole, he gets out. He gets outside, which is your job to keep him inside. Because look, if you took this approach, if you took an outside approach and drove him back in, you've got one, two, three, and your safeties are back here. Now he gets outside of us and gets a pretty good gain. So good hustle, um, but you got to take an outside approach. Beckett, you've got to keep running until the play's done. You're going to see you're slowing down here. You thought he had the flag pulled. I like the fact that both Braden and um, Kelton came over as safeties. Um, I heard um, Bray or Kel Kelton's dad, Chris, um, tell Kelton once that run has been committed, so once he is committing safeties, uh, you can come up to try to make the play. You just have to come up with uh, or in control. Um, again, I like the fact that everybody is set. We've got our corners, we've got our linebackers, and we've got our safeties. Notice how deep our safeties are, and that's for a reason. We saw that this kid uh, can throw. He actually had a much better arm than the team before. Um, so with the safeties back, it just made it a lot more difficult for them to um, complete any longer passes. Okay, so right now, second down. Um they were fairly well organized. You can see he's got a, a playbook as well. Um, okay, we've got a fake handoff. It's actually a pretty good play. Excellent play by uh, Dane. Let's rewind it a little bit. Okay, guys, um, especially linebackers, you have to watch the ball. What's happening here is both the linebackers went for this fake, right? And because of that, it left this lane open. So you guys, if you're whoever's playing linebacker, watch the ball. Let the play develop. I like the fact that Dane came up, made the nice pull. If he missed it, we've got our two safeties here, Kelton and Braden, ready to pull. And also what I like about Luke is you can see he's taking a nice angle. So uh, great job by, um, by everyone. Let me fast forward here a little bit. A little bit, little bit. Again, I really like the fact that you guys are back in your positions, ready to go. Um, you'll see how that hurt the other team on our very first play, and how it helps us throughout the uh, throughout the season. I like the fact that you guys are a little bit off. Safeties are in good position. Let's see what he does here. He may try to pass because they haven't tried yet. Okay. 
So fake, handoff. I like the fact that Ty's coming in. Excellent, excellent job, Ty. What happened here is the flag drop. This happened to us last game. The ref blew the whistle, cost us a touchdown. But what I like about Ty is as soon as he saw the handoff, he was in, right? He kept going. Perfect. Excellent play by Ty. Excellent play by Kelton. Um, once that flag drops, guess what? It's all you have to do is touch him. That's all you have to do. Okay, great three and out. Um, I like the fact that everyone's hustling back into the huddle. This is what I mean. Um, this is what's great about our team. As soon as the ball's turned over, we're back in the huddle. This team is nowhere to be found, okay? And it's going to hurt them on this play. So once this ball is set, which is set now, um, we can run our play. These guys are a little bit disorganized. They're kind of walking around. We run up to the... Um, we run up to the um, um, the line of scrimmage. See how this inside guy spread out, inside handoff, and it's a touchdown. Nice job. Excellent run by Kelton. Excellent handoff by um, by Braden. What I want to show you is what happens. So. When we first came up to the line of scrimmage, Luke, I want to show you something, exactly what happened, right? See how close you were to the line of scrimmage? When you split out, guess what happens? The guy who was right in Kelton's path splits out with you. Watch this. So you split out. This kid splits out. Now you've got a wide hole, so he only has to really beat this one kid. Touchdown all the way. Great job. All right, so we're going to fast forward a little bit. We've got to work on our extra points. Um, I don't know if we've converted many this season. Uh, for close games, it's going to be uh, it's going to be very, very important to do so. So, again, I like the fact that everybody's in a huddle. Everyone's running up to the line of scrimmage. All right, let's see. I don't know what this play is. Okay, reverse. Okay, I want to show you something, Patrick, in this case. Did we score? Good, we got the extra point. But, Patrick, I, want to, I need you to show you something. When you're out here in this play... Especially when you have a guy right up on you. He is the only person that's outside, right? So whether it's Patrick, in this case it is, you need to take your man into the end zone. If you were to run into the end zone, guess where this guy's going to go? He's going to go with you. That outside would have been wide open. Um, Luke was able to score anyways, which was great. But I think what you'll see is if you if you stand here, which is what you're doing, he's just standing here. And guess what? He comes in and almost makes the play. So in a, in a situation like that, I need everybody moving. Nobody can stand around. Nobody stands around. So uh, two quick scores. Now we're on defense. Uh, let's line up. Okay, we've got our two corners. Safeties, linebackers, this is exactly what I love about this team. You guys are ready. You're ready to go. Okay, this guy splits out a bit here. I know we know he throws, so Patrick, you might want to move out just a little bit. All right, so we've got a fake handoff. Excellent play. In this case, it was Luke. They were running this play a lot where it was a fake one way, so they'd fake this way and go that way. We'll remember that. Let's see what happens. Okay, great job, Luke, forcing him in. Beckett was there. Safeties were there, too, so great, great play. Beckett, good hustle. Okay, let's uh, fast forward this a bit. Fast forward, fast forward. 
you guys hustled all day long. Um, okay, we're going to go here. Safeties are out of the screen. That tells me that they're back. Okay, so we have a fake, fake, pass. That was actually an excellent play by Luke. Safeties were back there anyways. Um, they called interference. I thought that was a very poor call just because uh, the kid's feet and Luke's feet got caught up. So it was not a good call, but, you know, what can you say? Um, I like a couple things about this. Um, we drop back. We see that he's dropping back. We see that he's going to pass. Luke went back with the receiver. Patrick went back with the receiver. Our safeties were deep. Um, great play. That was an incomplete pass, in my opinion. Referees called um, interference. So um, it is what it is. Uh, great play by Luke. Great play by everyone, really. Uh, also, I want to point something out with... Um, with her two linebackers. Um, it would have been very easy for you guys to come across the line of scrimmage early, right? Because they do a lot of these fakes, but you didn't. It's good, it's good, it's good. You both went back well. If you would have come across the line of scrimmage early before they handed off, they didn't at the time, then they would have also called a penalty on us. Okay, so let's see what happens. There are Midfield, I think it's third down, very close to a first um, because of the penalty. All right, we're going to fast forward, fast forward. Again, we're all set. All right, let's see what they do here. I want to show you something, guys. Remember we say look at the quarterback? Look where he's looking. He's looking at this kid here. This kid's looking at this way. This kid here. He's probably going to get the ball. I would think that he's he's going to get the ball. Let's see if that's the case. And of course, he got the ball. Okay, a couple good plays here. A lot of good plays. Ty, I like the fact that as soon as they hand it off, you were in. Luca, I like the fact that um, that uh, you turned him back. Patrick, I like the fact that you knew all you had to do was tag him because his flags fell off. Okay, one thing, I've seen this twice so far. Kelton, look what happens. Flag falls and you slow up, right? You stopped because you think because the flag is down, he's down. He's not. You gotta play through the referee's whistle, like the pursuit. So watch. You slow down. Fortunately, we had Patrick there. Braden was there also. If uh, if he missed him, so remember, guys, whether on offense or defense, play through until you hear the whistle. Okay, they did get a first down. So it's now first down and. Goal. So they've got four downs to score. All right, so we're going to fast forward, fast forward. Okay. Okay, pass, pass, pass. Okay, good anticipation. Something that we'll practice on with the linebackers here. If it's only the quarterback, he can't run, right? So if it's only the quarterback, I want the linebackers just to drop back. Okay, you guys start to do that. Kelton, you made a nice break on the ball. Right here. I like the fact that um, Patrick was back. I like the fact that Braden was back covering these guys. Uh, Patrick comes up and makes a, uh, makes a nice play. Uh, also, excellent hustle by Beckett. I want to show you that. So Beckett comes from linebacker all the way into the play. If Patrick didn't get him, Beckett was there to get him. 
Braden was there and also Luke. So great hustle on everyone's part. All right, so now they have second down and doesn't look like very far, probably about four or five yards. I'm going to show you guys why here in a minute, why I want you linebackers, if it's a, if it's a pass, to drop back. So if just the quarterback has the ball, nobody else is in the backfield to run, I'll show you why. Okay. Again, the importance of, and this is on their end, of getting a good snap. So you'll see here that the center doesn't get a good snap, so they lose a down. In this case, it happened to them twice. So this is third down. They're going to run the same play. There you go. See, I'm moving you guys a little bit back. Okay, try to do a little reverse. Excellent flag pull by Braden. Saved a touchdown. Also want to show you, Beckett made a really nice... Uh, play on the ball too. Beckett sees a handoff, he comes over, looks for it, great job. So this I think is fourth down, they've got about a foot to go. Remember when we're, when we're playing, we're watching the ball, we're not watching the, hmm, alright I guess that was a little camera movement, good job there. Actually, it's smart. Now we've got a better position. You see how close we are, they are to scoring. If this were us, I'd probably just run a real quick dive one of these ways. It's really pretty difficult to, uh, to stop that. Um, I think what you're going to see is another issue with the, uh, the center. Yep, did it again. So um, that just goes to show how important that center is. And um, I was just telling the coach there that they can actually go sideways and uh, hand the ball off or snap the ball sideways. All right, so this is the end of the first quarter. So I'm going to stop and start the second film.